Good morning, guys. I got your workout for you today. Now, a lot of you tell me when I do these workouts, Dave, you're going a little too fast. I need better explanation. So today's workout is going to be a little longer video, but I'm going to actually take you through each exercise. Now, a couple things you want to have before you get rolling. You got to have your band set up. You're going to see it. I've got multiple bands set up here, and this makes it nice because I can go ahead and really just knock out the workout. I don't have to worry about changing up equipment, resetting bands and all that. So go ahead, get yourself a setup. Make sure you also got a band utility strap. So if you don't have the bar, now you can go ahead and just hook the band utility strap in the door and you can hook more bands onto this. As long as you're only pulling on one series of them, you're gonna do just fine. So you can have multiple bands hooked on to your band utility strap. Also make sure you got a pair of training handles, guys. Training handles are huge because you know what? They allow your shoulders to stabilize better, they're more comfortable, and it just make working out a lot more effective. So make sure you got a pair of those. If you got that all set up, let's go ahead and let's knock out your workout today. First press exercise is gonna be a chest press. We're gonna hit your total body today, and we're gonna go ahead and take you through everything. So the first exercise up is a chest press. We're gonna do it a little differently though. We're gonna drop down so we can really isolate our chest, and we're gonna do a kneeling chest press. Now, if you wanna go ahead and change it up midstream, just come on up, set it down, and go again. You're gonna have 60 seconds to go ahead and push this exercise, so make sure. Now, if your bands are rubbing on your arms, it's because you don't have your band, your contact point low enough. Put it down lower so the band doesn't rub on your arms. Hey guys, from there, we're gonna go into an exercise I don't do very often, elevated rows, okay? We've got the purple band set way up high, we're gonna drop down into a seated position and we're gonna do elevated rows and really work it, squeezing our back. Notice I got my hands through the bands so it's on my wrist so I can really emphasize pulling with my back. From there, we're gonna go into reverse lunges. We've got our black band right here. We're gonna step into it. We're gonna hook it on our hips and we're gonna go reverse lunges. So here's what we got, hands up. We're going back, drive off that leg, reverse it to the other side. So you're reverse lunging. Keep your heel on the ground, drive, and then make sure that back toe is not getting a lot of force on it. Keep the pressure on your front leg by leaning forward a little bit and then driving off that leg, getting back down and going there. So now we're gonna keep moving now. You're gonna have 30 seconds in between each exercise. So it's not a big rush, all right? It's not a big rush, but if you're tired, it's gonna be hard. We're going pillar presses right, pillar presses left. Now, this exercise is gonna get your trunk and your shoulder at the same time. That's how I'm saving time for busy guys so you get more done in a shorter period of time. Pillar presses, all right? So you're really locking out those pillar presses and driving it overhead. Once you get those done, all you do, you got 30 seconds, switch to this side. You're going right here, up, pillow press again. 60 seconds, so you're holding a pillar while you're pressing. Not only is this exercise gonna be more comfortable on your shoulder, but you're gonna be engaging your trunk the whole time, so it's a two for one deal. From there, we're gonna get into curls and hit our arms. So we're out here, all right, a lot of ways you can do curls. I'm gonna go ahead and get down here and drop my knee down and I'm gonna go ahead, put my other leg back and I'm gonna go hip extension curls. So I've gotta really get my hips involved, squeezing it out. So I'm gonna extend my hips back here and come on through. Same thing. Now, as soon as I'm done with those, I'm gonna move back a little bit and I'm gonna go bilateral kneeling, overhead presses. Now what this is gonna do is allow me to dig my toes in better but I'm really gonna have to engage my trunk. I don't want any heavy arching through your low back. Keep your trunk tight and keep pressing out. All right, get those tricep overhead presses. From there, we're gonna finish up with a little bit of heart rate racer. We're gonna go ahead and go in. We're gonna put our hips here, band in here. Use one band because you're only gonna push it out a little bit, all right? Don't overstretch this band. And now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go skaters for one minute. Yeah, your hips are gonna feel it. Not only is you gonna get your heart rate up, but you're gonna get the frontal plane involved. You're gonna get your hips involved. It's got great finishing exercise for this workout. There you go, guys. 
There is a great workout that you can put in quickly. And all you need is a place to attach your bands and you're good to go. Guys, DaveSmithsResistanceBandTraining.com. Make sure you check out my site. Make sure you check out my Instagram account. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel and check in our Facebook group, which is The Band Gym. All right, The Band Gym on Facebook. Join us. I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to see you there. We share a lot of information there. Guys, enjoy your workout.